All right, guys, this is my setup tutorial guide, whatever you want to call it. Setting up my iPhone 6, which is jailbroken, to the new Android Round Watch. Now, this is not an Android Wear. Um, Android Wear is a different running system. This Android Watch is more of a Android phone compacted into a watch. Um, more of the popular Android brands would be like Fossil Q, the Asus watches, um, LG, uh, Moto 360, Huawei watch. Those are more uh, designed to be a watch. This is more of a phone turned into, I mean, a, yeah, a phone turned into a watch. It runs on Android 5.1 running on the latest firmware <clears throat> all right so first thing off we're gonna go to settings on the iPhone and well it's kind of hard to see there we go a little better uh, we want to go to Bluetooth well actually first we're gonna set up the Wi-Fi so uh, here goes the Wi-Fi and I'm connected to Aris 5922 Okay, so we'll go to the watch, and we want to go to settings, Wi-Fi, make sure it's turned on, and there's my Aries. Okay, now setting up your Wi-Fi is not necessary to connect your iPhone, however, um, it does help trying to update the watch so that you're on the latest firmware of the watch. Um, Cause I noticed a few things have changed. For example, the keyboard is a full keyboard now. Uh, little things like that are gonna help you. So uh, set up my Wi-Fi real quick. Bear with me just a second. All right, so as you can see, my Aries is now connected. So now we can Make sure it's working. Oops, not phone book. All right, so we're gonna go to voice search. Here's the apps, voice search. Okay, Google, what's the weather in Los Angeles? Okay, searched it. All right, so let's go ahead and connect the Bluetooth to the phone now. All right, so we're gonna go to settings and Bluetooth. Go ahead and turn that on. All right, so on the watch, there's a iOS within the LEM5 system, I guess. Um, makes it easier to connect it, and I believe it helps with the uh, notifications it's able to send them okay so we're gonna go to connect and Bluetooth okay so first we're gonna connect to the LEM5 iOS and it's some kind of system within the watch all right, so now now let's reset Bluetooth over here. Go back, press Bluetooth again, refresh. Okay, and then in a second we should see my iPhone under available devices. I just refreshed my phone's Bluetooth. There we go. So now we're going to pair from the watch to the phone. Okay, it says to verify the code. They match. Okay, so pair. And 
compare all right now I believe there's one last step now we pair to the LEM5 iOS portion of the watch now it's asking for a pair request we're gonna hit pair and now we're connected so pretty much any notifications that come out on the phone will come out through the watch so here's a little example see right there the notification came out on the watch as well so anything you have set up to come out of notifications will actually come out on the watch um, let's go ahead and set up the sim card inside of the watch so as you can tell my phone right here can make and receive calls so we're gonna make a call real quick Okay, we can see that works. That's, sorry, that's Cedar City, Utah, right? No. All right, so we're going to take the SIM card out of this phone. And we're going to install the SIM card in the watch. By the way, this is a uh, T-Mobile SIM card in the United States. All right, SIM card is inserted. I'm just gonna put a couple of screws back because four screws on the back is not a good idea for the SIM card. All right, so we're just gonna put two just to get through this real quick and we'll be right back. All right, got the two screws back on. Now, when you set up a SIM card, you want to reboot the watch, okay? Um, last time I tried this, uh, it just wasn't working. So um, I rebooted it and it started right up. So here we go. We're just going to connect to the SIM and make a phone call real quick. All right, so as you can see, these two little indicators up here, the one on the left is data signal, the one on the right is Wi-Fi signal. Okay, we're gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. Matter of fact, let's put it into low power mode. Okay, and we can go back. Now you can see 
Wi-Fi is disconnected and the data is connected okay so let's go to phone dialer and we're gonna dial that same number okay. This used to be the Tell Me Network. Hi, welcome to the information line. Now powered by 24 7. Now it's the, the information line. Sorry, I didn't get that. To search for a business, say your city and state. Horse the... This is sports. Okay, we'll go to sports. I'm sorry, I didn't get that, but hey, let's try again. Please say the name of a sport. For example, auto racing. Football. NFL. Here are the latest NFL scores. You may interrupt at any time with an NFL team name or another sport. On Sunday, the Patriots down the Steelers 36-17, to 17, winning the AFC right, championship so, game. There we go. I'm That's... Making a phone call now. Let's see if the data connection will work. I'm trying to use voice search. Okay, Google. All right. So apparently we had to go into settings, and we got to turn on data connection. So under connect cellular network, you want to make sure that check is on. It was off. I just turned it on. Now it's working. Okay. So. Let's go back to voice search under the apps. There we go. Okay, Google, how do I get to Los Angeles? Los Angeles is 16 hours and 25 minutes from your location by car and light traffic. There we Here go. We can even turn on GPS. Because I have navigation installed and we have turn by turn direction. Alright, that's my little quick Lempho LEM5 uh, setup guide with iPhone, Wi Fi, and 3G. Thanks, guys.